Pastor Daniel Tan. He said, I think you haven't met you for more than two years. No, no, no. You came with the sanitizer. You know, he's a businessman, come pastor, an evangelist, and a missionary. He has always uh, have a heart for the poor and needy. He goes all the way into the Orang Asli village as well. Sabah, Sarawak, Philippines, Indonesia. Mm. A man really after God's heart. Wherever the Lord calls him, he will be there. He will be preaching to the poor and the needy, and those really, really hunger for the Lord. When he preach, be prepared for signs and wonders to follow. That is in the Bible, right? So do not be uh, surprised, you know, if do the things that do happen in the presence of God. All right? It's, it's all because of the Lord. All right? Amen? So can we put our hands together to invite Pastor Samuel Tan? Yeah, the last time he came, he brought sanitizer for us. I don't know this time he got bring any sanitizer, which I'm still having one. Smells very good. Serai one. Serai aroma. Oh! <laughs> Thank you, Pastor. You ask question, then who can answer, then give lah. <laughs> you have a lot lah. Wow, come on, give a lot of big clap. Organic one, yeah. This is called uh, nano silver water uh, for clothes. So any uh, eczema, you can also spray on the mouth, you know, for ulcer, anything. It's actually by one, one, one servant of the Lord. Yeah? He blessed me some, I buy some. So I didn't bring enough today, but I will send, you know. Make sure every one of here will get. Yeah, I will send again. Yeah. Father, in Jesus' mighty name, I come boldly before throne in grace. I cast every worry, every problem, every situation to you, Lord. I bind and break the power of spirit, worry, fear, doubt, witchcraft, irony, spirit, arrogance to go from here right now in Jesus' mighty name. I lose the power of anything. Holy Spirit, minister, angel, the love and joy and peace of God in Jesus' name. Praise you, Father. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Angel, praise you. Believe the name on high. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Spirit, come and take over, Lord. I surrender everything to you. Anoint your servant heart and mind and lips, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that you have you already command your angels here. Thank you, Lord Jesus, you already command your angels here. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus, that my preaching and my teaching are not of woman with human wisdom, but demonstration of spirit and power. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Can you put Matthew 3.11 on the board? Matthew 3.11. Today, God is going to baptize you with Holy Spirit and fire. Amen? See? In Matthew 3, boleh? 3.11, or I shall read from the Bible. You see, every Christian, when you believe, you see, believe. How many of you believe? Believe? Sure, huh? Yeah, because this is very important. You must believe that you already baptized the Holy Spirit and fire. See, so are you carrying the fire? Sudah kan, bolok? Matthew three eleven. Okay, I'm flow by spirit. Huh? Okay, make sure that. Uh, so uh, I don't have PowerPoint. Many place I go to PowerPoint, but before. Um, Actually, before that, every one of us has carrying fire. Do you have the fire? Yes? But many of you, I know that you didn't use the fire. Oh, see? So, if you use the fire, you say, I indeed, I baptize you with water onto dependent. Have you repented from all sin? Have you repented from all unrighteousness? Ask yourself. See? But he who come after me is mighty than I, who send us, I do not want you to, ca to carry. He baptize you. What? Big Holy Spirit and fire. So this is the thing. You want to revile yourself. You want to be successful in life. You want to be successful in business. You want to be happy. You want to be all the time like, be joyful. Peace and joyful. That means you carry the fire. If you still feel worry in your life, don't not I mean not all the time joyful and happy, the fire is not working all the time. 
Amen. So, when you carry the fire, you walk anywhere, into any place, big devil. The devil will free. Oh. You believe that? So you must believe. Because Jesus said in John 14, 12, most of surely I say to you, he who believe, John 14, 12, he who believe the work that I do, he will do also. Indeed, greater work than this he will do. John 14, 12. That means God is want you to prepare, He's preparing you for greater work. Your life will never be the same again. You don't have to worry about. Okay? John 14, 12. You got it? Yeah. You know the best, the best person that have done this, you know. Before I pump very fast, this one in Philippines. Whoa, very fast. Philippines, very fast. See? When I say John 14, pump out already. Then I ask, oh, he is very good. A small guy. No. Why actually, in the Bible say that, he who believe. Ah. But why are you not doing all these things? Why are you don't want to come to the church? When the church, you see just now, Lord tell me, oh, the angels, so many angels. You see? I say, thanks God, you know, thank Jesus, you are sending your angels, command angels. These angels are here and it's waiting for you. We think for you to believe, and he will follow you. The angels will follow you back. I got two angels always follow me. Go everywhere with me. I got angels, a different angels in my house. I've seen angels before dancing together with me. Wow. Just now also. You see, the most important today, Lord tell me, many of you don't believe. See? If you believe, you, have, you are doing signs and wonders today already. So today, if you just believe and do whatever Jesus tells you to do, you will do wonders. Amen. Yeah? Amen. Can you go out like me? You can't. But I'm going to share you something. What you can do is greater. The greater than this you can do. Amen? Take a look at John 11, 11, 11 40. Yeah? Uh, 11 John 11 40 40 Johannes 11 40 yeah if you believe those who believe you can see my glory so you just believe you will see the glory believe that you use the fire yeah? Jesus said to her did you I say that you would be you would believe you see the glory of the Lord that means what? Signs and wonders. So why is it so difficult for you? You don't have a struggle in life. I don't have a struggle. You know, you know what, how I do business? You know, I just sit in the office, I pray. I go every day. Yeah, like that. Just this other thing. I can share so many testimonies to you. Yeah? FGB calling, keep calling. I say no new testimony, I don't want to say. Yeah. There's so many new testimonies. You will see His glory. So how to, how to revive, to bring revival in the church? You yourself have to revive. It started with you and the family. Amen? So you want, you want this revival in the house? You want? Do you want the revival in the house? Yes? So you see, believe. Believe that you carrying the fire. It's very important that you believe you carry the fire. See, the first thing before that we can say, you must, how to carry this fire? You must love the Lord. How much you love the Lord? Have you every day kneel down? I kneel down when I get up from the bed. I say, kneel, I love the Lord. Be all my heart, be all my soul, be all my mind. Say, tell to the Lord, I love you. Yeah, say. Pastor Kwan, how many times you say to your wife, I love you, before you get married? Before I get married. Yeah. Oh, many times. After getting married, less, huh? At least once a day, you see? Oh. <laughs> okay, it's very important. Where, where is the, this one kid here just now? Where are they? Upstairs, you see? Whose mother is here? Who? Huh? The mother and any of your um, uh, parents here? Any your parents here? Where? Now come, come, can you, two of you? Come, I want to, come, two of you. Come, come forward. 
Yeah. Don't worry, I will give you something else. Yeah. I have, I have in my car, you know. Yeah, just now I already gave, I got some more. Huh? Yeah, make sure you pick up, pick up the, the, the mapa syrup. Okay. I want you to hug your mother. Hug. See, I love you, mother, papa. I love you. I love you. Hug some more. Okay. Why you cry? Yes? Oh. Do you know, a papa, a papa in heaven is waiting for you to hug him. To make a papa cry, cry of blessing. Amen? You also cry, right? <laughs> huh? Yeah? Got tears. Yeah, you see? You see? You see? So much, you see? I want you to do this. I do that every day. Every So many times I do, you know. I get up. Maybe I get up. Most of the time I will wake up and do something. I pray. Yeah. Pray until sometimes 4 o'clock or 3 o'clock. Something. Yeah. Sometimes I, I, I go two shift. Two shift means the uh, midnight shift. No, 12 o'clock, one more shift. And then, uh, and then uh, about 3 o'clock, one more shift. Wow. This what shift? You know what? Yeah. Praying shift. Midnight prayer. I'm a prayer warrior. You know, I kneel down every time again. I say, I love the Lord. Wow, I can feel my son. See? You must hear. You want to revive yourself. This is the thing you must do. Simple. Not difficult. God is going to bless you. Yeah, God sent many, ping, uh, many businessmen to buy from us many products. Yeah. So this is the thing you, 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 you must do. Very simple. Just say, I love you. Go and hug your mama, your mother every day. Your, yeah, go and hug your son every day. Your son, your children. Hug it and say, I love the son. Yeah. So these are the things that many husband and wife fail, fail to do. Yeah. So second, take a look at, second is belief. Belief also. Come on, take a mark. Um, mark 11, 22. Mark 11, 22. Have faith in God. Mark 11, 22. So these are the whole thing you want to reward your family. If they have faith in God, come huh? Mark 11.22. We're going to do under Mark 11.25. Mark 11.22 says, if faith means you believe. Right? Have faith in God. See? Have faith. 23. You see, 23, believe. Twenty-three. For actually I say to you, whoever say to this mountain, be removed, be cast out into the sea, does not doubt in his heart. No doubt. But believe that those things he say will be done, he will have whatever he say. No, believe. 23? Uh, 24. Therefore I say to you, whatever things you ask and you pray, believe, you receive them. I tell you. If I have time to share with you, I will share about about uh, 25. Let's look at what actually is 25. See, 25. And whatever you stand praying, wow. If you have anything against anyone, forgive him. And your Father in heaven may forgive your three passes. Are you still holding any grief? Are you still holding any uh, unforgiven? Uh, yeah? Have you ever forgiven? Yeah? Sometimes the pastor is preaching, then you are what got offended. Yeah. If you don't want to come to church, la, um, sometimes come, sometimes don't want to come. La. If you are offended, pastor, you go and say, first thing, ask from the Lord. If you haven't or forgive anyone, because that guy has stolen some money, haven't paid you some money, you better, you steal unforgiveness. Ask for forgiveness from the Lord. And go and say, bless him. Like that. You say like that. I tell you, one day, Lord asked me, my son, God always called me my son. One day, so many times he called me, my son. How humble are you? There are two things I will ask. How humble are you and how gentle are you to your wife and your children? Because we move by spirit. Before we say, we say something, you see, sometimes the wives get angry. Yeah. You know what actually we are struggling to? We are not because of she angry. Because of we are in the principality. Yeah? Our battle is not against your flesh. It's because the devil is making you quarrel. Yeah? Devil is making you angry. So the Lord asked me, How humble are you and how gentle are you to your wife and to your children? 
I kneel down every day for one and a half month, ask, Lord, help me. Help me to, to strengthen me how to forgive, no, no, how to be gentle and humble to my wife and to my children. After one and a half month, I can say to my wife, I'm sorry. I was wrong. Can you forgive me? I can say to my children, I'm sorry. I was wrong. Can you forgive me? If you today you have scolded something your children, you have belittled to your children or anyone, you better go and say, ask for forgiveness. Then the blessing of Paul, abundantly, abundantly. Yeah, I tell you. Ephesians 6, 10. Even last week, the Lord was telling me, you know, Ephesians 6, 10. Do you know the devil are the one who make you quarrel? The devil are the one who want to, 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 to destroy you. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord in power of His might. You see? You already be very strong in 11. You see? You are very strong in His might. Always. Yeah. Finally, 11. Be strong in His might. You see? That means in His spirit. 11. Put on the whole arm of God that you may be able to stand against the will of the devil. See? Because, 12. Yeah. Six, Ephesians 6, 12. Got it? 6, 12. Because our, our battle is not against flesh. It's against the devil and principality. See? Husband and wife quarrel. You think you, you, think you quarrel is because the, hus- the devil... See, you see, sometimes the husband will say, how come you say something? The wife will say, I never say. Same thing also. Why? Because the wife says something, the husband will hear, hear wrong thing from the devil. See? For we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principality, against power, against the ruler of darkness of this age. So, when you go to start to pray in tongue, I tell you, start to pray. Because the Lord already gave you the power or in mind. Then you can see, the family, forgive them. Just go and never mind. Even though you, 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 you don't never think, you go to your wife and say, come on, we better we repent each other. Sometimes I say something, I hurt you. Sometimes um, in the heart, I, I say something. Yeah, you know, God or not, in the heart, uh, this, how my husband do like this to me. Lah. I never want to buy this to me. Go and ask for Forgive me. Amen? So it's very powerful. You want blessing, right? I'm teaching you how to get blessing and bond blessing. Then your life will revolve. Yeah? Amen. There's one more. I couldn't forgive this, this, uh, this, this sister. I couldn't forgive him because of money. One million, you know? A lot of money, you know? One million. <laughs> I see. One million, no. Because I, I, I didn't see the lawyer properly. He can claim more than one more million, no. I have to pay the thing, you know? Yeah. Just cut the story short, huh? I, this one, two, not two and a half months. I kneel down. Come on, Lord, help me to forgive this sister. Let, for, help me forgive. After one and a half, every day, morning and night, you know? Yeah, and minimum twice, sometimes more than that. I nail down and ask. What happened then? After two and a half months, oh, I know I already forgive the sister. But I didn't go to her, I went to the pastor. Pastor, I already forgive her, can you pray? Yeah. Oh, do you know? How many of you, have you seen baby cry until very loud? So, I cry like a big baby from here, from there can hear in the pastor room. Oh, my, my shirt huh, can squeeze. Other eye you all. I tell you. After that, after that, you know what ministry can happen? Blind can eye open. Oh, this one, so many things. This everything who cannot hear immediately can hear. So many. But of course, I sometimes I go to a place I don't have cameraman. Yeah, miss up so many. Many things. Lord will know. Never mind. Amen. I tell you, there are many blessings. How many of you can buy uh, half a million worth of goods, big up money? God give me, because you move in the spirit. You, you trust in Him. Yeah? Trust in Him. So how you trust in Him? You must be trust Him fully. Believe this. We talk of belief. Forgive. Just time we talk, I love the God. Forgive. Believe. Right? It's very simple. Trust Him fully. Proverbs 3, Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. See? When you trust the Lord fully, but what to do, how to do, 
Yeah? Wow. How often you talk to the Lord? See, how much time you spend time with the Lord? That's the thing. Yeah? So you want the revival in your family? You want the church to, check, to, to, to prepare for revival? These are the things you need to do. Trust Him. Whatever Jesus tells you to do, you do. Even when I buy my shirt, I ask Jesus, I ask the Holy Spirit, you know? Everything, you know? It's true. Now, Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. Trust the Lord. Yeah. Be all a heart. Got it? Trust the Lord. Be all a heart. On the way, acknowledge Him and He will, I will, I miss. Yeah. Trust the Lord. Be all a heart. In order to acknowledge Him, and He will direct your path. Amen? You see? When you direct your path, how He direct your path? By His Spirit. That's why you have to baptize in Holy Spirit and fire. The fire, that means you are filled with the Holy Spirit. That means the fire is on all the time. You're filled all the time. You see? Trust the Lord with all your heart. Yeah. And He will lead you to the right path. See? And you'll be successful. Trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not on His own understanding. In all the way, acknowledge Him, He shall direct your path. Whatever He direct you will be successful. Don't do anything before the Lord direct you. Yeah? The, the youth, yeah? Make sure that don't get married before the Lord tell you who to see, yeah? Yeah, wait, never mind. You sh wait for the Lord, yeah? Amen. Don't, don't run after uh, the, the, oh, certain business people. Oh, you must, you must pay now the paper seat, anything. Wait! If it's yours, you never run off. Amen. So these are the things you have to be filled with the Holy Spirit because God is spirit. You must worship the Lord in spirit and truth. Just now we sing the song John 40, uh, John 4, 24. Yeah? This is, you must worship the Lord in spirit and truth. So that is the reason why you have the fire. That means you have the fire. Fire is what? Life, you know, not dead fire. So, you, so are you alive or dead? Alive. So you're carrying the fire. Join us. James 2.26. James 2.26. Yeah. Body without spirit is dead. Right? Faith without work is also dead. Wow. See? You must have your spirit of the Lord. So you're alive. And what is means, the means? For the body without spirit is dead. That means the spirit is not working. It's no spirit. Right? And faith without work is also dead. You have to do the work of the Lord. Amen? That's why the Lord gave you the fire. Today, you believe God is going to anoint you. God, God is going to hug you. And then you carry back the fire. The fire for you to do your work, for, for do your ministry, the fire to do, uh, do what God called you to do. So, do you know your, your calling? Do you know your calling? Yeah. So it's very important, you know, if you don't do the work of God, you are sent to fire. That's why the God prepare you to do His good work. His do His good work. Hebrew thirteen twenty one. You're fully God already fully equipped you to do His good. Hebrew thirteen twenty one. See, body big up, spirit is dead. So why He want your body to be alive? Because God is preparing you, make you complete. See, God has make you complete in every good work. See. What is good work? That is calling you to do His good work, to do His will, working in what was pleasing in His sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever, ever. Amen. See, you receive His glory. Are you doing His good work? Are you? Do you know that you have to do His good work? You know. Amen. Do you know that you need to do His good work? Amen. So now you know you need to do right. What happened if you never do? Yeah? James 4 17. 
Don't look at James 4, 7. If you do you already know that you need to go to good work. It's a sin. James 4, 17. See? So, God already prepared you to do good work. We bring revival in your life. We bring revival in the, in the family. We bring a revival in the church. Whatever you do, you are so peaceful. Yeah? Therefore, to him who know to do good, huh, he doesn't do, no? It's what? What is that? Sin. Oh. Wow, now you know that. Now it's a sin. Some more. You want some more? If you don't produce fruits, you don't bring people into the kingdom, you are thrown to where? Fire. Matthew 7, 19. I got so many. We want to give you. I can give you. When the Spirit tells me to give you, I will give you. Matthew 7, 19. If you don't bear fruits, you throw into the fire. This is second date, you know. Don't play the fool. Every tree does not bear fruits. What happened? Cut down and throw into fire. You want that? So, ask you, you, asking you, have you bear fruits? Are you bearing fruits? Yes or not? How much fruits? It's good fruit. Yeah. Are you bearing fruits? Uh -huh. What have you been doing? I'm telling end time, you know. God said, this is very near. Don't play the fool. Use your time. Yeah. How much time that you pray in a single day? How much of time, brother? Don't be shy. How many times? You pray five hours a day? Every time. Huh? <laughs> Every day. Yes, good. More than five hours? Yeah? More? More. More. Ten hours? Oh, he didn't really answer me. I dare to ask you. I dare to ask you because I'm doing that. Yeah. More than 13 hours? Oh, you do that, I tell you. We're so enjoyful when I drive down to, when Pastor Kong is Ramban Ken. After this, I'm going to Mersing. I'm praying, it's prayer walk, prayer drive to Mersing. And after that, I go to Tiaman, diving. You know what? Defeating the water spirit. This one, my calling, you know? My calling is to go underwater to pray. So this is the thing. It's very important that God asks you to pray. How many hours you pray in a single day? When I was in, in India, because this is a revival, you want a revival in your life, you want a revival in the family, right? Yeah, you want to be enjoy, enjoy yourself with peace, joy, uh, love, peace, joy, all this kind of thing. You better do that. Yeah. Just a little while, you're going to enjoy for eternal life. Why don't you do that? Simple life, enjoy yourself. People got money also cannot enjoy. Yeah? You, you shall have no lack. Not much money, no lack. Whatever you decide to do, God will give you. Amen? There are many people with money, cannot enjoy. You see, do His work. The first thing when I was in India before the COVID, God tell me, prepare Anna. Oh, Lord, I haven't preached this message, Anna. Luke 2, 36 and 2, 37. Yeah, Anna, daughter of Pruner, after married for seven years, become a widow. He was praying... Fasting, never leave the temple until the age of 84. What was Anna was doing? Anna was praying for the birth of Jesus Christ. And Lord tell me, prepare this Anna that you will be praying for me for my second coming. Are you going to do that? Can you do that? Pray in the spirit. No need to do so much. Pray in the spirit. Yeah. Later part. Every one of you will pray in the spirit. You will believe. Because just now we live. You will see the glory. Yeah. Start your engine. Prepare. And then I ask these people in the tea garden. They are tea garden. No, no more time. They say, how many of you want to pray for two, two hours? Yeah. After when I say this, wow. Three hours minimum a day. They, they, some of them five hours. They obey. Just pray one hour, what happened? When you pray one hour a day, when you got feel the glory, I tell you, you don't ask one hour, you ask more. That's why I can pray. If I take aeroplane 11 hours, I can pray for 11 hours. I go to the toilet, maybe stop for a while, take a break, it's okay. So ask, Jesus asked me to prepare my people 
to pray for what you cannot fish like me. I can travel here, travel away. Yeah, some of you cannot travel so much, but your spirit can travel. Amen? Your spirit can travel. You ask pastor, pastor, how many of you people from, from maybe from Australia call you to pray for you them? Huh? Or where is where the place you have always pray for people in US or anywhere? Where? Yeah, these are the thing. Because your, your prayer is very powerful. It travel. Yeah. Your spirit travel. So how many of you here, you cannot pray continuously. You pray can break. Maybe uh, morning, just get up, pray. Don't go and run for the phone. Don't run for going uh, hear other things. Yeah, some of them go and wake up. Pray first. I get right. Pray. Baba, shut up, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Tell you. Pray non-stop if you can. Yeah. If you like me, because I already I have feel so many times feel his glory, I would like to pray for a very long hours. Yeah. Yeah. This morning I uh, this morning uh, I I got up. I wake up at four o'clock. I pray. Hey, after that, uh, six o'clock already I still do not know. You see? Just imagine. So you imagine that every time in the office I pray. Because when I come back, I will rest. Papa, shut up, blah, blah. Yeah. So these are the things. I just want to ask you, encourage you, how many of you here would like to pray one minimum one hour? Can I see your hand? Yes, good. Yes. You want to pray one hour? You cannot. Why you cannot pray one hour? Never mind. Take a break. Morning, five minutes. Then after breakfast, ten minutes. Go to the toilet, also pray two minutes. Then I take two more, two more minutes in the, to, in the toilet, sitting down to pray. Two, uh, two minutes, can do that. So every day, you add up in the buku tiga lima. You know buku tiga lima? I forget. I, last time I supply buku tiga lima. You know, for those, when I go to India, I supply buku tiga lima. Rack it up. Two minutes, three minutes, three minutes. Add up. One day, one hour. Until, wow, I want to do more than that. Is, you say you want blessing from the, from the Lord? You want blessing? You want blessing? These are the things when you do it, bear fruits when you pray. Do you know it's very important? Second thing you need to pray this is what also Lord tell me when I was in Rajamundi in also before COVID. The, when I went there in Rajamundi is India. This we have I'm, there's no no hotel there, you know, no hotel. So I have to stay in a pastor house. No aircon some more. Oh yo, yeah, toilet I have to walk out some more. Yeah. So the there is a Hindu festival and then they block the road. And then I have to, we have to circle the hill of we went up every year. Circle the hill like this, and then Lord tell me, break down the wall of Jericho. That means you do pray your walk. Prepare my people. Prepare my people to break down the wall of Jericho. Everywhere you go, you prepare them. So, do you know? I'm going to Basin. I'm also going to Malacca soon. Island there, Pula Besa to pray in the Purang Besar or go underwater. I have to go to Raja Ampat to go underwater pray. And uh, next month, I'm going to Maldives for a lot of money. <laughs> I don't want to go, but Lord tell me, you go by live on board. Because the live on board go to many, many islands. Next day, I share with you when you've got time. Yeah? You see, break down the wall of Jericho. You see, what Joshua did is Joshua 6, he go around yeah, for, one, for seven days. First to six days, one round. On the seven days, seven round. And wall, they send what? Automatic bomb? No? You don't have to do anything. The wall is generally break down. Are you doing that? Are you doing drive the car? You pray. It's very powerful. There's one pastor from Pattaya. I forgot her name. A lady, a daily, a daily pastor. He shared in a pastor Paul Ang conference. There's a row of shop in Pattaya. His, the church is just behind them. There's a row of shop, and every day for, for five and a half months, five and a half months, you see, every day walk around. Papa Shetur Pikara. One round only. Every day. One round for five and a half months. After five and a half months, one by one, the go go, sh what go, go go shop, you know? There's many go go shop in the row. What is go go shop? It's all adult go go now, huh? Go go. The go go in Thailand, huh? I go go so they don't wear anything one. Yeah, they don't wear this dance now. I go go shop. Amen. So go go shop. What happened is see, one by one, you close. Amen. That's why God wants you to do prayer walk. Yeah. It's very important. 
So this is how that you do his work. Yeah. You go around, then suddenly they come to church. They come to church and then pastor call for auto call to accept Jesus. Whose work is that? It's part of your work. You didn't know that you already bear fruit. You bear fruit by this way. Yeah? Some people sow the seeds, some people pour water, and some people harvest. Then you are the one who started big the break down the wall of Jericho. Amen? So how many of you here would like to start immediately to break down the wall of Jericho? Prayer right. Yes. Call Jesus' name. You cannot pray in time. Call Jesus. 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 Okay? Can you do that? Okay. Go to work. Don't listen to pop music anymore. Go to work. Pray in time. Jesus is King of Kings. Jesus is Lord of Lords. You just do that. Come to be, be, be together. Repeat. Say it. Jesus is King of Kings. Jesus is Lord of Lords. In the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Of those in heaven, of those on earth, and those under earth, and Emily should bow. Jesus is the Lord. You proclaim this everywhere you go. I tell you, it's a lot of blessing. Are you doing that? Oh, it's so joyful. You must do that until you, take, you feel His glory. I feel so many times the glory of the Lord. Amen? So this is the thing, this is the thing you should go. Don't to worry so much, oh, how to bring people to the, the church. Huh? If you do that every day, I tell you, this is all not enough. Until sometimes I go to everywhere I feel, you know. I mean, sometimes I go to India until the whole, like that only. Amen. You think that, like icon like this, huh? oh, tara icon panas, you see. I will bring extra shirt one day one. Yeah. Amen. So you must believe all these things will happen. You will see His glory. Love Him? Yeah. Forgive? Today you go and check the Lord Holy Spirit. Only Holy Spirit can cleanse you whatever un, un, unrighteousness. Amen? Holy Spirit will give you peace and joy. Like that. You want peace? You want? You want joy? You want? So peace and joy. You see, in Romans 14, 17, the kingdom of God, you see, you want the kingdom? Of God is not a matter of it's not a matter of eating or drinking, but righteous. Joy and peace. Wow, you joy and peace all the time. Amen. Are you joyful all the time, sister? Yes. Do you feel angry sometimes? Yes. Uh, yeah. But angry, but angry, but yeah. No, <laughs> no say not say angry, like irritated. Yeah. This is the thing. Jesus loves you. Yeah. You can go and if you do this, you can bring all your relatives to the kingdom. God is going to use you. Pray. Yeah? There are many of you here. Yeah. Need the part. We're going to pray for you. Who want to have a touch of the Lord here? You. All? Sure. Huh? So make sure you become a touch of the Lord and hug, and hug the Lord. Okay? Yeah. You, I tell you, you, do that. You can see so much things. And when you do this, God is going to guide you whatever he sing. will show you what they do. Isaiah 31, 21. Isaiah 30, 21. Come. Isaiah 30, 21. Your ears shall hear a word. So God is going to talk to you. You hear a word. This is the way you walk in it. Whatever you turn to the right or whatever turn to the left. You like that? See? Speaking in tongue is speak to the Lord. How often you speak to the Lord? Why? Because they don't want the devil to understand. Okay? So, how he speak to you? Okay? You hear your word from him. By, Lord talk to you by tongues. Isaiah 28, 11. Isaiah 28, 11. Isaiah 28, 11. For the stumbling lips and other tongues, he will speak to his people. 12, 28, 12. Nehemiah, today when the Lord touch you, all many things will happen. Because we skip so many, we don't much much time. We just share, share some here and there. But what are going to do? Believe when you come up here, God is going to hug you, going to touch you. Then things will be different again. To whom he said, this is the rest whom you will cause where you rest. And this refreshing, so much refreshing. Yeah? And also, 
You talk to God by tongues. Yeah. First Corinthians fourteen two. First Corinthians fourteen two. First Corinthians fourteen two. First Corinthians fourteen two. So, God talk to you by this, so you feel the heart. For he who speak in tongues does not speak to men, but to God. No one understand. Whoever in spirit he speak mystery. Amen. So many um, unanswered thing you will know. Like that. So when you have a feel the Holy Spirit, how often you have to pray in Holy Spirit? Pray continuously. Have you ever prayed continuously? Yeah. I believe every one of you have a handphone, right? Have a handphone? Right. You charge your handphone? Yes. Same thing is, is Holy Spirit. Pray continuously. You can pray as often as possible. You, you, you watch TV also, you can pray. Because sometimes my wife asks me, do you watch TV? I, I don't want to see. But I still, I, I, okay. Okay, like this. So this is the way, pray in the Holy Spirit. Pray on many occasions. Ephesians 6.18. See, Ephesians 6, 16. I want to let you understand this and later part, the most important thing, when you have a touch of the Lord, anything of the Lord, so much different. See, because I will, it's very important because the, the moment I accept Jesus, I already speak in tongues of fire. The moment I accept Jesus on the 28th March 2008. Praying always in all prayer, in supplication, in spirit, being watchful to the end, perseverance and supplication to all the sins. Wow, it's so powerful. What does it mean? When you do this, you believe you're praying for all the saints, the saints like Pastor Kwan, like us, and all this kind of thing. This is the, the reward of the Lord we're giving you. you. First Thessalonians 5, 17. Pray continuously. Yeah. Pray continuously. Amen? 1 Thessalonians 5, 17. Pray because he sings. You see? Of course, you can take a rest. You can, you can share something with your friends, anything. Yeah. It's spend time with the Lord because the Lord wants to have intimacy with you. Yeah. Because God will never leave you, will never forsake you. He's always holding your hand. will never let go. Yeah. Psalm 73, 24, 20, 23, 24. Then the, it will bring you to glory. Amen? Today, after this, because there's a lot of things to share with you, I will skip, skip, skip. But the most important thing, the anointing come, the Lord will going to teach you many things. Amen? Yeah. You know, life will never be the same again. So whatever you do, before anything, pray in tongue. Before you pick on the phone, you pray in tongue. See? Pray continuously. Yeah. This are the thing. So when you, when you accept Jesus and believe Him and obey His command, Lord Jesus will give you another counselor to beg you. That is the Holy Spirit. Do you like yeah, the Holy Spirit to beg you all the time? In feeling Holy Spirit, so pray in tongue all the time. See, make sure you pray in tongue. Uh, make sure that every day you must pray in tongue. You need to pray in tongue. You don't pray continuously, never mind. At least you pray 20 minutes. Can or not? Oh, five minutes, five minutes, five minutes, five minutes also can. Can you do that? Yeah. Do you know? Um, I think, who knows uh, Thomas, uh, Prophet Thomas Chilean? Whoever know this, Thomas Chilean? You know, huh? Know that? Okay, one day he was, uh, I was, uh, he was in, in Subang Jaya. He said, Subang Jaya, Subang Jaya, he said. There will be revival in Subang Jaya, he said that. I saw, I see one, one prayer warrior was praying all the time. Samuel, he never said Samuel, he never said Samuel. He said, Samuel Tan Yong An. Are you there? Are you there? Yeah. He called my full name. He never know my full name. He all know. He knows Samuel Tan. I, he's, he's praying all the time. He tell you, I pray. Every time I pray. When, every day I walk. When I, back, in, back in home, I will pray. Every day I walk around. I sometimes I drive the car around. Blah, 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 blah. If, walk every day. Blah, 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 I walk. Exercise. Yeah, when at home. Yeah. Then he's, he called my son. Wow. There was revival coming to Subang Jaya. Great revival. This, this prayer warrior is praying for revival. You see? Very important. Then God knows what you're doing. And he called to confirm. He called my son's name and called my daughter's name. He also don't know. Amen. 
So that means revival is coming here. You know, I cannot step in here, you know. Yeah, God will never allow, cannot, very difficult. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this is the thing. So what happened? Revival is coming because of you. Are you going to part of it, sister? So start to pray. Papa, shut up. Never mind praying, Holy Spirit. The Lord will tell you to pray. Just call Papa, Lord, Jesus, King of Kings, Jesus, Lord of Lords. Let's all go around every day. Can you go down every day? Never mind. From the house to the makan shop. Can you do that? Every day must do that. Huh? Sure. Take down his name. I don't know her name. Take down her name. Yeah. Will you do that? Yeah? Huh? Yeah? From here to, to supermarket? Huh? Can or not? From the room to the toilet? Can you pray every day? Wow. Can you do that? Sure. Make sure you do this every day. It's very powerful. My sister. It's very important. See, when you do that, revival comes to Saramban. Revival, I also can know that revival fire is here. I can catch the fire from my home. Amen. So, take a snap, a photo. These people is going to do that. Prayer walk, prayer drive every day, right? Huh? Prayer like Anna. Don't talk, walk. Don't pray for 20 hours a day. Lah. Yeah, never mind. One hour only. Can or not? Can I? You say, take picture. One hour. You cannot continuously, never mind. 10 minutes, 5 minutes, 5 minutes. Can or not? Yeah, can. Here, can? Can? Oh, you say, this row can? This row can? can? This row can? Sure. Very can. Come, clap your hand, the Lord. Yeah. Hi, right, sister. Do you want. When next time they went up to heaven, you see your grandchildren, oh, wow, doing very well, doctor, law, engineer, you like that? Pray. Pray, power, prayer, pray, long prayer. Amen? Your prayer is very powerful. Your prayers bring revival. Amen? Hallelujah. The every one of you is very important. If not important, right? That's why God still keeps you here. Amen? So it's very, very powerful you are here. God needs your prayer, sister. Do you pray, how often? Yeah. Not only her, I just example, every one of you is very important. You're not important. Oh, sudah pergi sana, ada di bawah. Kangana pergi atas. Oh, your house mentioned not ready. Half only, yeah. Yeah. Amen. That's why the important is the touch of the Lord is very important. Yeah. Later part, when pastor share. The Holy Spirit teach you. Wow, 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 wow. How come I know this? And Pastor also never say, but Pastor says something, I know many things. Because Holy Spirit is big you. When Holy Spirit is big you, you have the power. Yeah. And all you are going to speak in other tongue. How many of you speak in tongue here? Everybody? Not everybody. Cool. You speak in tongue? No. So make sure you believe you can speak in tongue. There's only different. It's not because you cannot speak in tongue, because I'm not ready, you see. He said, I cannot ready. They always say like that. Do you know, in my ministry, there are many people who immediately accept Jesus, immediately speak in tongue. Hallelujah. You know why? Because I was one of them. The moment I accept Jesus, I say yes. Then they say there's another gift. Boom! I say yes. Boom! Because the moment I accept Jesus, my, I the utang two million, you know. I utang people two million before, you know, before I accept Jesus Christ. 20th March 2008, I accept Jesus Christ. They ask me, do you like, you know, how they, people uh, talk about Christ, they come to me, uh, do you like to know Jesus Christ? Uh? How many of you have said like that? Do you like to know Jesus Christ? Uh? They ask me like that, you know, because Holy Spirit touched them how to ask, how to ask this stubborn man, uh, how, to, how to change this man. Yeah? You, all, you all speak gospel, right? This or not, but save this and that. He come to me, two of them come to me, do you like to do you like to know Jesus Christ? You know what I say? You haven't met Jesus Christ, don't talk to me about Jesus Christ. This is why I talk, no? Like that, you know, this time I them. You haven't met Jesus Christ, don't talk about Jesus Christ. I say it like that, you know. And then he say, because before that, I was an idol worshipper. When I met Jesus first time, face to face, I also met devil face to face, Satan face to face. Yeah. And, uh, and then, I didn't become a Christian because nobody talked to me about Christ. I become a Buddhist. Six weeks, I become a grandmaster of meditation, Vipassana meditation. I cut the story short. Huh? Then after that, 
I was looking for God all the time. You know why? Because Buddha say, I'm not a God. Buddha say, I'm not a God. I'm not a semi-God. I'm just like men like you. Do not worship me. Do not worship either. Sit the Holy One who is coming after me. And Buddha say, the Holy One will take you to an everlasting life in a big vessel. And then I was looking for God. When the wise man say, I'm not a God, that means there is God. I was looking for God. I went to the jungle, went to the mountain. Tada, God lah. Cannot tapa. And then, I found God. And then there's one book say from Buddha to, to Christian, to Jesus, driven by Steve Konanliki. He say, how the Buddha look like. And this saying of Buddha look like, both of the hand got hold, and both of the feet got hold, and face is blemishes, and the stomach they got pee, like, what? like this. Who is that? Jesus Christ. This saying was actually right now also in what Paul in Chiang Mai, what Paul in Chiang Mai written there in Thai. That's why when the book was translated into Thai, nobody can touch the book. Nobody, uh, this, they never banned the book. It's selling openly in the bookshop. Amen. So on the 28th March, I just got a story short. Next day when I'm free, I will share you a great story. From 20, 40 minutes, I cut it to 20 minutes. From 20 minutes, I cut to 15 minutes. <laughs> the testimony. But when I share this testimony in Pakistan, 1,038, one, when I was sharing about other things, Lord tell me, share your testimony. 1,386 people give their life, new, new, new believer. Amen. Sharing testimony is very powerful. You must share your testimony. Every one of us have a testimony. Amen. So what happened? Do you like to know Jesus? Do you know what? I say, you haven't met Jesus, don't talk about Jesus Christ to me. Oh, then he say, do you have intimacy with the Lord? Wow, got my heart. My wife was there. Hey, I want to have intimacy with the Lord. I want that. Then he say, in order to have intimacy with the Lord, Lord, with God, you must have fellowship with Jesus Christ. Oh, I only know Jesus Christ. I met him, but after that, of course, when he appeared to you, your eye can open one. Very bright, can open one. Yeah. I only met him, but I still don't know about him. Oh, I want to know that. Senior prayer. After the senior prayer, two million owing people gone. Wow, very peaceful. Then they're very peaceful, very happy, you know, sister. Have you owe people uh, 10,000? Oh, 10,000 always takut. Bubak, glubak, glubak, bugul lah. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm the first. Yeah. I mean, from my business, I'm the, we are the first. Yeah. So now we've got second generation. Amen? Owing two million, no? So what happened? Oh, two million, no more. And then, and, see, that night onward, can sleep very peacefully. Yeah. Then the next day, look here, this is also everyone for you. The next day was a good Friday. 21st March, two weeks. You go and find a friend. Wow, go to the church. They come and take me to the church. Very happy. Wow, before, wow, I'm very excited because very peaceful already, ma. Before, uh, he said, coming, uh, 8 o'clock come, because 8.30. I Get ready already, 7.30, get ready already to the church, you know. Wow, never come yet. Uh. Uh, 8 o'clock, sharp, sharp, come. Go to the church, auto call. Oh, I say, you need grandmaster. Uh. I was grandmaster. Maybe cannot fall down. I said, people, you want to see people going down. Oh, what happened? Come to me, boom, Jesus appeared. This is for you. I will restore whatever you have lost. Amen. I will bless you much more. Say amen. This is for you too. I will use you. Amen. Are you allowed Jesus to use you? Amen. To pray for the second coming of Jesus Christ. To break down the wall of Jericho. So many people will come to the church. Hallelujah. Come, come forward. Come forward to have heart of the Lord. Come. Don't miss this chance. There are so many angels are here. And after that, we pay for healing too. Worship team, slow music, slow one, slow one, yeah. Amen. Come forward, brother and sister, that have the heart of the Lord. God is going to touch you. Yeah. Come forward. Come forward, everyone. You want to have a touch with the Lord, anointing? When as prayer goes, ask from the Lord, what do you want? You want a house? You want a career? Ask. Whatever you want, ask for the will of the Lord. Because
Some of you, when, when Jesus touched you, you're going to speak in other tongue. Yeah. Some of you will slim down. Don't hold yourself. Let enjoy yourself. Amen. Yeah. Little part, we will pray for the sick. Yeah. I and Grace will pray for the sick. Rasha, Trapa, Karasha. Slow music because we're going to minister. Never mind. One or two or two, the rest can come down. Yeah, can come and help to catch to, yeah, catch her or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Just piano. Yeah. Piano or two. Come for Shatrapa Karashitrapa. Father in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. Torapa Karashatrapa Karasham. Thank you, Lord. Your children, all your children here answer your call. All your children here desire for your gift. Eagerly desire for the gift of Holy Spirit. The night gift of Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord. Release, Lord. Touch them and give them the gift of Holy Spirit. They are eagerly desire for your, your Holy Spirit. Thank you for your gift. The gift of faith. Father, in Jesus' name, release your gift of faith to them, Lord. The gift of healing. Release the gift of healing. Lord Jesus, release the gift of working a miracle into them, Lord. Kurapa as they eagerly desire for your Lord for the gift. Thank you, Para Pakaras. Thank you, Lord Parashatar. In the name of Jesus, Lord Jesus, release the gift of word of wisdom. Impart them the gift of word of word of knowledge, Lord. Kurishatra Pakarashantur Pakara. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Gurapaka, give them those who desire the gift of Gurapapa Parashatra Parva, Hurapakara Shantur Pikiri Karapakara, Hurapapa, discerning of spirit for those who eagerly desire for discerning spirit. Give into them, Lord. Hurapakara Shantur Parva, Hurapa, thank you, Lord Jesus, for those who eagerly desire for the gift of prophecy, the gift of different kind of tongues or interpretation of tongues, release to them, Lord. Cobra Kara heal those who release who need healing. Who rapa restore the relationship. Restore all those who have lost. Who rap in bless them much more in Jesus' mighty name. Oh rapa karashitra pakarashan. All financial who have lost will be will be blessed. Will be restored. Relation will be restored. Go rapa karashitra papa shatra pa. Go rapa papa. Scholarship. Release the scholarship to the children. Go rapa kara papa shatra papa. Oh, rapa shatra pa 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 shatra pa. Hey, rapa kara shatra pa kara shatra. Hey, rapa pa shatra pa kara shatra pa 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 shatra pa kara shatra. Oh, rapa shatra pa kara shatra pa kara shatra pa 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 pa. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Kuru shatra pa kara pa kara shatra. Oh, rapa pa 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 pa. Jesus love you. Jesus love you. Jesus hear cry. Oh, rapa pa pa receive. Oh, rapa pa 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 pa. Hey, God is calling you to minister to the youth. Receive. Receive the invitation. Yes, 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 Healing Jesus. Healing Jesus. All the pain go in this. No more pain. Yes, yes. Healing Jesus. Receive the Receive, receive, receive in Jesus. Hey, yes, 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 receive right now. Receive. Yes, the fire. You have received the fire already. Use the fire. Use the fire. As you use the fire, more fire will come in. Yes, healing Jesus. Receive. 
receive, receive, receive the healing right now. Oh, Papa, shut up, receive. Hey, fire, 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 fire. Yes, new carrier is coming into you. A new carrier. Oh, papa, papa, the print and hora papa, shatra, papa, papa, today. Oh, papa, 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 fire, fire, receive, fire, receive. Oh, shatra, papa, receive, papa, receive. Receive right now. Jesus to the future. Yes, yes, yes. Print and just print and hora papa, Jesus is going to lift you. Lift you up. He's going to wake you up in the middle of the night. Gora flow in the mirror. Flow, 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 flow. Oh, shatra, papa, papa, Receive the fire. Receive, receive. Oh, rapa, papa, 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 papa. Oh, rapa, papa, shatra, fire. Receive right now. Oh, rapa, kara, shatra, In Jesus, heal in Jesus' name. Heal in Jesus' name. Heal in Jesus' name. Oh, rapa, papa, tash, tash, tash. Oh, rapa, papa, papa, papa. Oh, rapa, papa, shatra, papa, 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 papa. Oh, rapa, papa, shatra, papa, yes. Oh, rapa, papa, shatra, papa, papa. Oh, Rapa, Papa, shut up, Papa, 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 Papa. Hey, Papa, Jesus loves you. Jesus, hear your prayer. Your prayer is very important. Oh, Rapa, Papa, Papa, Papa. Oh, Rapa, Papa, shut up, Papa. Oh, Rapa, Papa, Oh, Rapa, Papa, Papa. Pastor Kwan. Oh, Rapa, Papa, Papa, Papa. Oh, Rapa, Papa, Papa, Papa. Oh, Rapa, Papa, Papa, Papa. Oh, Rapa, Papa, Papa. Oh, Rapa, God loves you. As you in the mercy of the Lord, God is going to talk to you more and more. Oh, Rapa, receive. Oh, Rapa, Papa, Shatra, Papa, Keriara, Shatra, Papa, Papa, Papa. Oh, Rapa, Papa, Shatra, Papa, receive, receive, receive. Oh, Rapa, Papa, Shatra, Papa, Papa, Papa. Oh, Rapa, Papa, Rapa, 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 Shatra. Oh, Rapa, Papa, 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 Shatra, Papa, Papa. Oh, Rapa, Papa, Shatra, Papa, Papa. Oh, Rapa, Papa, 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 Shatra, Papa, Papa. Receive the fire. Receive, receive. Oh, Rapa Karasha. Jesus to the Jesus to the Jesus to the Receive, receive. 